when we looked at our funding for this building, we said, you know, we may have to give up a little bit of square footage to make sure that the exterior of this building is the nicest facility that they're going to see when they drive up. You know, and, uh, you know, the, the students are, are used to coming from some nice facilities at high schools, and we want to at least be on par with that, if not exceed that. So, you know, it, it's just way more important to us to, do, to have a smaller space if we have to and have it at the highest level. But luckily with this facility, we got all the size that we needed, and, but we still were able to do everything with the latest technology. I can't even describe just the lightning suppression system for this building. You, it would blow your mind the amount of uh, technology that goes into this. And um, every classroom is designed to be converted to um, a computer lab in the future if it needed to be, and vice versa. It's very versatile, but we understand that you know, this building may have to um, support a huge online effort in the future, or it may not. So, just want it to be very versatile. And um, like I said, we're, we're, we're at a point where, where the, this campus and the college in general, the, the bulk of the work has been done. Now it's, the fun part is adding the finishing touches where it all looks extremely good and, and does look first class. This campus has always been interesting because the campus numbers have fluctuated from year to year. Uh, but recently what we've seen is we've seen a spike up like we did with most colleges and campuses across the nation, then a slight decline and then a steady growth. And what we're now seeing is some steady growth here again. And that was very important to us. And what it says, of course, is that the reputation of the instructors and administration and everybody, faculty, staff that works at this campus continues to evolve. And more and more students are coming to us from all over. As was mentioned by Dr. Haffey, today we have 52 counties represented at this campus. And I don't think a lot of people realize that 52 counties uh, are sending students to the Grenada Center. So it does say a lot about the reputation of this center and the quality of instruction and other pieces of the environment of this center that's going on out there. Poor Grenada gave over $250,000 for this facility and that was uh, a lot of different people from the community that uh, had contributed to that campaign over the years. And when Mr. Holmes went to them and, and pled our case, they, they did it without hesitation once we kind of laid a plan out there to them. But that's just normal for this community to have you know, you had representatives from the chamber, from um, tourism, uh, hospital, medical community, manufacturing community, everybody. Uh, we're just a tight-knit group up here. Um, and they use this campus so much. I mean, it, we said it 100,000 times through these doors, and we weren't exaggerating. It, it'll literally be used. Uh, these doors will just swing open and closed all day from 7 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night.